Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to do a quick showing, sort of review of some outfits that I recently picked up. So American Girl came out with new historical outfits or pajamas and a new outfit for Kira. So I thought this would be the time to get a couple more outfits for the World by Us dolls and sort of spice up their wardrobes. So right now I am on a pause on buying really large items because Honestly, I don't have the space for it, and I keep saying that, but I really, really don't have the space for it. And so I am focusing on clothes and accessory items. Um, but anyway, so this is what I picked up to start with. So as you guys know, Kira is now kind of being roped into the world by us. And so she actually got a new outfit, which I was so surprised to see. This is her outfit, Kira's Adopt Don't Shop outfit. And we'll start from the bottom. It comes with these black boots. These black boots are really great quality. They have that cloth inside. They're not plastic. They have sort of that fake plastic, uh, flake leather, excuse me, fake leather on the outside. They do lace up. You have to tie them. Pretty easy to get on. Then she's got a pair of white shorts with Velcro and a little button. The button obviously is fake. And then You've got this shirt that says, Adopt, Don't Shop. It comes with a flannel. I just tied it around her waist. I feel like I saw it done like that somewhere, and I think it's really cute. It didn't make sense for her to put the shirt on to me. And then she has this really cute bucket hat. Pink's my favorite color, so I love to see her in this, and I forgot how pink her aesthetic was, but I loved this outfit. So that's a good job. And this one retails for I don't know if they put them on the box anymore. I don't remember. 30 something, I'm sure. Okay, then we have two outfits, one for Maritza and one for Yvette. These are from that Harlem's Fashion Row collaboration. I'm sorry, McKenna, I did not get her outfit. I don't care for that outfit, even though I love pink. The pink one is one I would get if I was gonna get one, I just don't love it. So I gotta wait for that to go on sale. These are a little bit pricier. I think this one was 40 and this one was 36. Um, so let's start with Yvette. First of all, I'm in love with this outfit. It's Yvette's chill twill and tie-dye outfit. It comes with these boots. They kind of remind me of like Timberlands. They do tie up. They have a leathery feeling more so than these. These really feel like leather. You have this tweed skirt and it is so thick it is really great quality and it just velcros in the back and then you have the tie-dye t-shirt which I feel like is so versatile you could put that with many different outfits and I just tucked it inside the skirt but I guess you could have it outside too and then she's got this really cute hat again bucket hat and I think we've all heard about Yvette's hair just kind of being bigger kind of I don't want to say hard, hard to tame but like it does get very fluffy and I feel like this hat kind of brings it in a little bit, which I appreciate. So that outfit to me is really, really cute. And then here's Maritza's outfit, which I was on the fence about, but seeing it on, it's really cute. So this is Mar Maritza's neon stripe outfit. It's pretty simple. She's got like this jersey style pants and shirt with the drawstring on both the pants and the top. I don't think it's meant to be crop top. I think if you pull the pants all the way up, they'll meet in the middle, but I just didn't want her pants uh, hiked all the way up. And then I love the sort of flare bottom, and there's that neon stripe along the side. That's how the outfit gets its name. And then the shoes are really cute, just white shoes, but the neon green at the bottom is sort of translucent. And I think that's really creative, and that's what it looks like. So I think this is a really cute outfit. And every time I dress Maritza, I remember how beautiful of a doll she is. So if you don't have Maritza, add her to your collection. Yvette is also a very beautiful doll. And I know there's hate going around about her hair and all that and whatever. I love her. She's adorable. <sighs> Again, I'm sorry, McKenna. Okay, the next thing I picked up was um, two of the pajama outfits for historical dolls. They put out new pajamas for Mary Ellen, Melody, and Anaya. I almost thought about getting all three, but 
Nanea's pajamas don't come with slippers and I felt like that was a crucial part of the outfit so I did not get it. Uh, so let's start with Melody. Melody true to form has this beautiful sort of spring pastel pajamas. I love the detailing on it. The buttons are real buttons. The pockets do work. I have to check myself. And the pants go all the way down with that nice little crease in, down the middle. And then her shoes, her slippers are basic. They have that little puff. Her original slippers have the puff too. But if you remember, her original pajamas have that button down. They're just shorts. And then, of course, they gave Melody the ribbons to tie in her hair. So I did two braids with it, but these are not elastics, they're actually ribbons. So, I mean, this is just a me thing. I kind of had to hold it in place while I tied because I didn't have like clear rubber bands to tie them off. So if you're gonna get the set, just you probably need the clear rubber bands to tie them off and then put the ribbons on. But a very cute outfit. And I'm glad that Melody got something. Like, I feel like she got a couple of things like a year or two ago. Um, but some of us collectors, like, I do appreciate the new Truly Me's, don't get me wrong. But we do like the historical items. Like, bring back more historical stuff. Okay, and then next up is Mary Ellen. And she is wearing her pajamas. And these are so cute to me. Um, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know Mary Ellen is the historical doll that we have the most items for. I don't know how that happened. I mean, she's just, she fell into... A good time period with us we were getting a lot of historical things and she had great things coming out so we have a lot of her things but she's got this cute also sort of the same color palette if you look at that but pink and blue and if you get really close there are little dachshunds on her pajamas which is adorable her pockets work as well real buttons and sometimes on the real buttons they can be stiff um, but on both of these are very easy to get in and out of um, the holes and then she's got like the pedal pusher uh, pants which I love with the little bow detail I really thought she was gonna get a bow hair tie as well but she didn't and then I have scooter right next to her but then she's got the little moccasin um, slippers and these remind me of the slippers that were in uh, truly me pajama not too long ago so those are the pajamas so those are the newest outfits that i have picked up tell me below which ones you like the best and what do you think about the new items coming out for historical dolls do you think they should come out with more do we need to revamp that whole historical line tell me all of your thoughts please like comment subscribe thanks for always engaging in the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye